HPV is human papillomavirus, which is a sexually transmitted infection that is very, very common and is known to cause a number of different cancers. For many people, HPV will not cause many symptoms. The low risk types tend to cause genital warts, so patients might know that they have the virus if they see that. For the high-risk types, those are the ones that are really causing the cancers we talked about. And for many patients, they won't have any symptoms until they actually develop a cancer. And that's why it's so important to come in for your annual exam and make sure that you're getting a thorough physical exam and your regular pap smear screenings. In my job, I see a lot of women that are affected by cancer. And for a lot of those cancers, we can't detect them early and we can't treat them or cure them. This is one where we can not only detect the cancer early if it develops, but we can actually prevent it. When you take the time to sit down and talk to a patient about what HPV is and what the vaccine is and what the benefits of getting the vaccine are, I think it really empowers a patient to make a decision that's right for their own body. The vaccine works very well. When it was given prior to exposure to the virus, it was over 98% effective at preventing precancers of the cervix. So this is one of the best tools, the best protective things that we have for patients available to us in the current time. And we should really be using it, you know, as best we can for patients. You know, my goal was to have children and to do other things. And I can't do that now because I didn't get the vaccine or my parents didn't get the vaccine for me. So I say if you had the opportunity to do it to save your child from going through something like this, then go ahead. It's easy. It's just a little shot. Like, I mean, the flu shot is worse. There's lots of really credible information out there, and your doctors are the most informed people about that, but it's important that you also feel informed. And so then reading the information and having an honest conversation about potential side effects, but also the potential benefits. And so I would say talk to people. The HPV vaccine is recommended routinely for everyone up to age 26. More recently, in 2018, the FDA expanded that approval up to age 45. And so it's really kind of a shared decision making in those individuals that are between the ages of 27 and 45. I would encourage parents to really consider seriously getting their children vaccinated because this is a way that they can help them to prevent developing cancer in the future and really help to protect you know, their, their children and their loved ones. The most important thing you can do is to talk to your doctor and to share all of those fears and all of those concerns. Just knowing that they would hear me and be there for me throughout the entire process made all the difference. If there's a possibility to prevent a single woman or a single man from getting cancer, that is something that I want to do and I want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to do that for themselves. Please talk to your provider about the HPV vaccine today.